So just a very very quick look at this Canon charger. It has uh, stopped charging uh, even with a good battery in it. it uh, the, the light doesn't even come on. It should be green when it's fully charged and red when uh, not or while it's charging. So uh, yeah let's see why this uh, charger is no longer charging. So let's just quickly crack it open here. So that's fairly simple on the top. Uh, we have the uh, bulk capacitors uh, over here and I suspect these uh, diodes are probably the uh, diode rectifier bridge. This is an optocopter probably between the uh, high voltage section and the low voltage section uh, diode for rectification on the DC side to DC caps it is quite likely that these two caps are in parallel and here's the uh, charge port so uh, let's see there will probably be quite a lot of uh, circuitry on the bottom here Whew, yeah that's uh, substantially more complicated so let's just see what we have here, or what we can see or make out. So uh, definitely the high voltage section over here. Uh, you can see there's a fairly good split between the uh, primary and the secondary uh, areas. Uh, this looks like a little micro, a little uh, voltage regulator probably for the micro, and the rest is just uh, charging circuitry. Okay, so uh, I think just as a start, We'll apply 240 volts to the input here, uh, measure that, see that it's coming out at least onto the plug, and then follow the path and uh, see where we get to. So let me just apply, apply power here before I turn it on. Okay, and let me uh, just uh, turn it on now. There should be an inrush, and indeed, right, so uh, measuring the AC current draw around about 1.6, 1.7 milliamps. Right, so at least there is some sort of a uh, current draw. There's definitely power here. Let's just quickly uh, measure that and make sure. Yeah, so that's 230 volts coming in right there. Let's just measure on the DC side. It flows in here. Here's the uh, two diodes with a bridge rectifier and the other two diodes. So you've likely got DC round about here. There you go, that's 313 volts DC. So uh, there's definitely energy all the way uh, up to here. The capacitors uh, seem to be okay. I don't see any obvious signs of bulging. So uh, let's just quickly measure on the uh, secondary side here. here this, this is the uh, primary side of the transformer over here. This is the secondary side. Um, there's uh, one rectification diode, that big one that we saw over here and uh, the two capacitors are over here they are in parallel so it is that one and that one so yeah not much there okay right let's just quickly see if we can measure anything coming through on the secondary here nothing really there okay so it's likely that there's no feedback here, so we'll maybe have a look at the uh, optocoupler between the primary and the secondary, and uh, maybe just uh, check out uh, some of the components on the secondary side and make sure everything's okay there. So just quickly measuring the, uh, these diodes. Uh, let's just quickly see. That one's in, oh wait. There we go, that's half a volt there. That one seems to be fine. That one seems to be fine. And that one seems to be fine. Let's just check this one. Oh. Okay, that's not so good. This diode appears to be shorted. So let me just show you what diode exactly so these are the uh, capacitors 
for smoothing directly after the DC output here. So let's just measure this again. Yeah, that is a solid short. So either it is this diode or some circuitry around it. But uh, let's remove this diode first and just measure it on its own. Give this a measure. Solid, solid short. I think I'll just uh, first replace this uh, diode. See what I have uh, that's more or less uh, compatible with this. And uh, take it from there. Okay, I just want to quickly make sure these caps are still okay. So yeah, that's 237 microfarad. Um, and these two caps are 100 microfarad each. So yeah, that... Uh, more or less makes sense so these caps still appear to be okay so this is an sb3100 it seems more or less okay so this is a shot key diode uh, it's got a 100 volt uh, reverse breakdown voltage and i don't actually have anything like this my uh, collection of diodes is pretty lean and consists mostly of uh, rectifier diodes and uh, small rectifier diodes and single diodes and uh, zener diodes. So to the junk bin we go. Okay, so I found this uh, old uh, UPS board and it's got a couple of uh, diodes in here. They look like the 3 amp variety. Uh, so let's uh, grab one of them and see what exactly they are. Okay, and that is an SR306. This is a fairly good replacement, actually. The data sheet states that it is an older design, and uh, the SB series should rather be used. But seeing that we don't have anything else, let's uh, give this one a go. It's also a 3 amp diode. It's got a 60 volt reverse uh, breakdown voltage. But uh, that should be fine in this specific scenario. The rain is really coming down hard now. But in the meantime, I've been able to fashion a fairly good uh, approximation. This is the old one over here. And here's the, uh, the new one that I uh, bent into shape. And it should fit uh, nicely in there. I think it's time for another test. Put this in here. Right, and let's turn it on. Okay, no smoke, no explosions. Let's do some measurements. Okay, and as the rain starts to come down even harder, let's just quickly measure between the negative output here and this positive output. Uh, sorry, where is this now? There we go. No, there. There we go. 8.42 volts. And that's exactly what we want to see. Alright. Let's plug it in. Turn it on. And let's put a battery in. Hey, there we go. You can see here. Uh, here's the uh, red LED. And that means it's charging the battery. And uh, when the battery's full, it should turn green. Okay, I'm going to call that a fix. So guys, if you uh, like these kinds of videos, please uh, remember to give me a nice big thumbs up. And I'll continue making them. Thanks for watching.